Well, now that we have our trees and berry bushes planted, it's time for us to start our garden. And Garth has been working on our aeroponic or hydroponic. I forgot already. <laughs> I'm still confused on which one it is. Aeroponic. Okay, so an aeroponic, he took a bin and uh, got some sprinkler systems put together in there so it will water them. But in the meantime, I guess I have to sprout seeds. So he did some research, looked at one of the easiest ways to sprout seeds. So we're going to attempt with hydrogen peroxide and water and putting the seeds in there for a few days. So after I get everything together, I'll grab some images or video of that too. Okay, for now I have mixed up water and hydrogen peroxide in that four cup measuring cup and I've got a few glass jars here and then the seeds. I'm not sure how many jars I'm actually going to use and what seeds I might combine, um, but here's the start of the project. Okay, so I have made four jars with the seeds in there and we have just gone ahead and covered them with some little bowls. I'm not sure if they had to be covered or not. So we're just covering them and they're gonna stay indoors here for you know a few days at least, see what's going on. <clears throat> it's warmer in here and um, it's actually close to a vent as well. So some warm air will be circulating through here. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so these three jars do have seeds that are sprouting. I have one that doesn't seem to be sprouting yet. And that one has bell pepper seeds and cilantro. Um, but we've got in this jar, summer squash and jalapeno. Not sure if you can actually see that they're sprouting. Let's see. Maybe in the angle you can kind of see a little bit. There's some little sprouts. Not sure. Uh, there you go. You could kind of see on that one they're sprouting. So the three jars do have something sprouting. So now, Gar's going to have to put them in the box that he made that we're going to be doing the aeroponics inside and we'll go from there, see what happens. But we've got in jar number two, we've got summer squash and jalapeno. Jar number three, we have hot peppers, oregano, and cucumber. On the oregano, it's really hard to see if anything's happening because it's so small. And fours, radish, and beet seeds. So we will see soon how those progress. Okay, so we are outside checking on our trees. Here's our first one, which is a Liberty apple. And then as I walk to the next tree we have here, this one is the Macintosh, which is the pollinator for both the Liberty. And the next one we have here, which is the Arkansas Black. So we have three different apple trees. Um, we wanted to get the cedar apple rust resistant and Liberty and Arkansas black are also resistant. Um, and then Macintoshes as well. Um, but again, the Arkansas black and Liberty don't pollinate each other. So we had to get a third. This one is a plum tree. Let me see what variety it says it is. Santa Rosa plum. The next one that we have is peach. Hopefully the peach will uh, survive here as well. They said it's sometimes, you know, give or take. This one is an Alberta peach. And then we've got two cherry trees. So this first one is, let's see if this is the Mont Mercy or Montmorency cherry, Montmorency. And then this other one is Bing. So there we go. And then these are not supposed to really fruit until the fall, but we have persimmons. And we bought two persimmons, hoping one is male and hoping one is female. They only had one variety, but they needed a cross-pollinator. So we just planted it just to see 
if we will get fruit or not. If not, well, then we can get another one. And here's the last stick that we have. That's persimmon. Again, hopefully in the fall we'll see if we'll get some pollination and fruiting. But those are the trees that we have. So some of our seeds have sprouted and I have not yet had the chance to learn what Garth did with the tub and how to set up the seeds for the aeroponics. And I was afraid that if I left them in the water much longer that they might start to rot. So what we're gonna do is put them in paper towels now with a little bit of moisture in a baggie. I'm gonna put it in the window, see if it gets a little bit of sun, maybe to start uh, doing a little bit more growing. And then when Garth can show me his plan for putting them into his contraption, uh, then we can put them there until we can plant outside. So I started with the beet and the radish seeds, put those in baggies already, and pulled out the cucumber when I realized I should probably take a video of what I have so far, which I haven't done. Okay, so here are the cucumber seeds, and you can see they definitely have sprouted. So got them on a paper towel and put a little bit of moisture there, and hopefully just in the next day or two, I can get them planted in the garden. So as I had said in a prior video, I was having elderberry that really wasn't rooting for a long time. And so we've just been keeping it in water. So we had green leaves, but not a lot of roots. Um, but recently I noticed that we were getting some roots starting to form, not from the bottom where they had been cut, but actually from some of the other little stems sticking out. Um, and Garth has made the aeroponics. He suggested I put that, um, put these downstairs for a little bit. I'm gonna be gone for a trip in New York for five days. And um, so then it's gonna automatically water. It'll have some lights. But in the meantime, let me show you what they look like. So just brought them in. They're sitting in this bucket so we could take them downstairs. Uh, but you can see there's quite a few green leaves still. And let's see if I can find one that's got. So here are some of the leaves. And then let me see if I can find one easily that has a bunch of the roots showing. Ah, they're kind of stuck. But, um, all right, so there's some of the little white roots. You can see they're coming off of the shoots on the side rather than from the bottom but lots of green leaves. We've got quite a few plants with lots of green leaves in here now too. So hopefully these elderberry are gonna do well. Um, we'll get them planted probably when I come back and we'll kind of go from there. So I'm looking forward though to having successful planting season. All right, so I'm downstairs in the basement and I brought the elderberry bushes down and Garth was showing me for the aeroponics what to do, so let me show you what we've done so far and what I'm gonna continue doing. Okay, so he bought a big tub here, uh, bought a pool noodle, bought a yoga mat actually, which is that blue. We've got a few things we put here, this asparagus, one he just planted here yesterday, one he put a couple days ago, and then we just did a couple elderberry here. And here's also one of the asparagus that he put, which you can actually see we're getting a little bit of asparagus growing already. Um, so what he's gonna have me do is cut out a circle from here. Once I'm done, I'll show you what I have here. Okay, here we are. We've got our seeds that we're gonna start putting on the right-hand side. I've got elderberry in the middle. And the first thing that we're gonna put in, probably the top left corner, is going to be cilantro. So I had to stop after we just did the cilantro. We had other errands we had to run. Um, I just got back. I'm going to work on putting in more seeds. Um, I don't know if you could hear that water running. It just turned on. It runs for about a minute. Then it turns off. Oh, that was a little less than a minute. But again, here we go. We've got this for seeds. And in the top left, and right now it's a little darker because the light turned off, but up. In this top area here is going to be cilantro and then next uh, below that I'm going to put bell pepper and then I will look and see what will be next. 
So just as an example to show what I did, here are some radish seeds that first we had put into mason jar with a little hydrogen peroxide and some water just to get it to start sprouting. And then we put them in paper towels with that same water in the window. And now this is what we're transplanting over to this aquaponics thing. So radish is gonna go next underneath the bell pepper that I just put in. Okay, after the radishes, I am going to put in uh, summer squash. So again, I think at the top we have cilantro, then we had bell pepper, then we had radish, and next I'll put in summer squash. So look, I just opened up the paper towel with the summer squash, and these really have developed a lot of roots already. Um, I think this one will be much easier to kind of put into this plastic. It's been a little bit hard with the seeds. It's so small and the, the roots in here to get them down in the plastic but not have them drop all the way through. So this one should be much easier. Okay, the next one that I have to go under the summer squash and you can see now I've placed the summer squash here. I'm going to do hot peppers and um, hopefully these have also started to sprout. They look pretty good. Um, got a decent amount long tail so hopefully those will work well too okay so here I have two rows of hot peppers underneath the summer squash now I'm gonna put in jalapenos Garth also loves his jalapeno peppers so we're gonna be trying to grow those as well okay below this one row of jalapenos that I put here I am going to put beets and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I just have four beets that I inserted and hopefully those are going to grow as well. I'm not sure if those actually germinated well or not, but again, this whole thing is an experiment. We're not quite sure what we're doing, but we're going to try. So the final one that I am going, well, I'm not sure if the final one, but I did have some oregano that looks like it's starting to sprout, but it's so tiny. I don't know if there's anything I can do with that. I'll grab a film of that in just a minute or a video. But the final one that I have next, um, if I can't do the oregano, is cucumber. The final thing that I had planted was oregano and was tiny black seeds. Um, I wasn't even sure if that was going to work, but right now I don't know if you can actually see this very well, but there are little green sprouts there, but they're so tiny. I don't think it's going to work with what I'm doing. So I'm thinking maybe what I need to do is actually cut out like a square piece here maybe and just put this paper towel over it and let the water continue to spritz it. And then maybe if it's when it gets a little bigger, we can transplant it, but I'm not really sure if that will work or not. So I think I'm gonna maybe check with Garth, see what he thinks. Um, but in the meantime, here are our seeds. You can probably hear the water that just came on. So it spritzes the roots. Maybe like, I don't know, 10 seconds. I was thinking Garth had said he turned it on for like a minute and then it turned off for a little bit, but it's not on for that long. Oh, and see it's turned off again so we'll just continue that cycle right now uh, when I came down the light had been off so we turned the light on so I can actually see to work I'll turn that off because it is evening um, but it will come back in the morning he has it on a timer and then again here's all the elderberry uh, that we ended up doing this morning and then some asparagus again like we've got two little asparagus things standing up here and then one that he just planted yesterday I think but anyway we're not sure if this is gonna work it's a test um, but it will allow me to be in New York at a conference and not have to worry about watering um, and then when I come back I can think about getting a raised bed garden going so we'll see what we end up doing but experiment on our gardening so I had left Monday morning and now it's Saturday night so I wanted to come down and see how 
my plants are doing. Again, we did the aquaponics and I had stuck seeds in plastic before we left and the aquaponics will spritz every, you know, so often every 30 seconds or something for like five or 10 seconds. Um, so let me show you what it looks like right now. Okay, so when I left, the asparagus was pretty short. And as you can see right now, you can see those little green stems. Look how tall that they have gotten in like five days. They have just really sprouted. Uh, looks like the elderberry is still doing well. It looks like we might even have some new green leaves on there. And then over here, we actually have quite a bit of growth. Um, not quite sure everything is growing, but obviously some things have really taken off. I'm looking forward to seeing about planting and what's gonna happen. So today I was going to bake a, a spaghetti squash that Garth had bought before I had left for New York um, a week, maybe even a week and a half, two weeks ago maybe even he bought it. It hadn't been used yet and I thought, well, I better bake it um, make it into something for dinner this week and when we opened it notice that a lot of the seeds had already sprouted So here's what a few of them look like I took some downstairs and planted them already and some I gave to Rebecca so she can try to grow them but as you can see it opened and Started to sprout so I'll show you what I did downstairs as well with the aeroponics and we'll see how they do down there. Okay, so I took a video earlier of my plants and they of course are doing quite well here. Um, but since we got the seeds from the spaghetti squash, I went ahead and put some down here too. You could see how long some of those roots already were. So we'll see what happens.